Hold up. What time is it? It's time for another Fantomen review with me, Mikael. This time it's issue 4 of 2022 with this pretty cool iconic cover by the talented Henrik Salström. This is the seventh uh, issue number 1700 since the start in 1950. So it's still a shy of through numbers, but uh, it's quite huge milestone. So this issue features two phantom stories, uh, The Jungle Trek, uh, The Daily from 2006 that has not been published in a comic book in Sweden earlier, written by Tony De Paul and drawn by Paul Ryan. The twins are growing up and the phantom wants to see if they can manage different things in the jungle. For me this is around the time uh, at least in my opinion, that the daily stories really started to get good after a long, uh, more mediocre period. Uh, and uh, the second story is a reprint. It's written by uh, Ulf Granberg and Öskan Eralp, and Öskan Eralp also did the art. It uh, was first published in 1977 in Sweden, and it has never been published in English. The title is uh, The Witch, and it's quite boring, and it's also in black and white, but when I look past all of that, it's uh, quite a decent story. And except for those things, there is also this in-memorial text of uh, Germano Ferry, uh, who has done quite a lot of phantom work, uh, that before he sadly passed away, uh, and... Uh, what else is there? Yeah, the next issue will have a new Team Fantoma story, both written and art by Johan Boy. Bo it's really... I don't know how to pronounce it. Boix. Uh, Onskans Totem, that is like the evil totem. Or the totem of evil would be even more correct. And then it's a Falkenberry classic, The Terrorists. So... Uh, Looking forward to that. See you next time. Happy phantoming.